what's up babes we are back at it again with another video and in today's video we're gonna be talking about new powders i'm gonna be telling you which one of all these new powders that they be coming out it's the right one for well, before you before we continue yeah. with this video you already know the drill i would love for you to be part you have to be part of the steffi glam r us fam so don't forget to go down below and click the little red button This brand's have be coming out with a lot of powders, right? Don't have to worry because you have me and I have you and I got all the powders and I'm about to tell you what I think about each one of these powders that I have right here. Do I like them? I don't like them and you guys know that I'm just honest. I have dedicated videos of all these powders except for one this one from tatcha so what we're gonna do in today's video i'm gonna start with this one i'm gonna give you all the tea all the info of the powder like i always do i'm gonna be showing you guys the application because i don't have any powder on me right now and then i will give you my final thoughts i've been wearing these powders for days already my mind is already set of what i think about it and then i will move on into all the other powders that i have so you guys know how excited i was about this baby right here right like i really wanted it i was counting down the days and all that for real so this is the silk powder protective setting powder and it goes for 48 dollars so when we take this baby out of the box we're gonna be getting this little sample of the liquid so here you have this powder and I like the bottle, but it feels cheap. Very cheap. That was my first impression when I took it out of the box. It is plastic. It's just not what I was expecting. So this bottle, it is see-through. You can actually see how much product it's in there. And you're probably going to want to have a heart attack because you're going to think it doesn't come with a lot. It comes with 0 0.7 ounces. And I'm not going to talk shit about that because it's literally right there with all the other luxury loose powders. They're all come around the same amount Talking now about the packaging this is the primer that i was telling you it's so good but do you see how this is plastic but it feels weighty it feels you know looks serious it feels bougie it feels good to to hold it to have it in your collection now can you compare this to this like what the fuck is this like this plastic it is so cheap so cheap <laughs> so cheap this is a protective talk free setting powder that is gonna blur pores shields from pollutions and blue lights and it's gonna provide a translucent soft radiant finish mostly it's good for normal dry combination and oily skin so now i'm gonna be bringing you closer to show you how this powder looks on the actual skin the first Mm -mm, about this powder and i'm sorry i'm talking shit so soon even though i already know what i think about this powder but whatever it is the mess it is so messy it gets annoying the powder comes with like this little flower situation right in the center of the powder it comes with this little white plastic thing to open and you have to snap this take this out yes you could put this back but this is gonna keep coming out it's gonna get annoying grab it throw it away you don't need that you see those little cracks right around the circle thing right here look how big they are in my opinion they should be smaller they're about that big and the powder keeps coming in and out so it gets messy like come on it already comes with a little bit of product we don't want to waste it so i'm gonna be using my wayne gash brush and be careful because brushes like this they do pick up a lot and I'm only gonna be putting it on one eye so you can see the difference between one eye and the other one I know I know I keep bringing you all up on my grill I'm sorry if you don't want to be but I really want you guys to see what I'm doing right here I'm gonna be growing a little bit more and I'm gonna be putting it on top of my pores One little thing that I do find important, it is that Tatcha is not recommending us to use this powder with a sponge, no type of sponge, which I think is a little weird. You should be able to pick any powder with a sponge. But I 
my face feels very very dry I kind of have like this stiff sensation on my face and it doesn't feel smooth silky nice comfortable on the skin it feels like I'm grabbing regular top and I'm applying it on my face this powder is supposed to be for all type of skin and honestly if you have dry skin you're going to hate this powder when you touch the powder it feels very airy but you can only put a little bit if you start putting powder on top of powder is this it's going to be a complete disaster i've been wearing this powder for about three days already and i do have clips i'm about to insert them in you're gonna see how it looks a couple of hours after how it looks at the end of the day outside on the heat See, it's very drying. All right, guys, so I'm wearing this powder from Tatcha, and I feel that it feels very drying on the skin. I'm kind of getting like this stiffness feeling, and it's in my whole entire face. Either way, so I'm gonna have it on for a couple of hours, and then I'll be back, but this is how we're looking so far. I've been wearing this powder for more than 11 hours or something like that and I want you to know that this powder it's not going to modify your face it does have a shine it has like particles of glitters it's not really particles of glitters more like particles of shine and on the Sun you can actually see them a lot so I want you to have that in mind and let me zoom you in so you can see what I'm talking about depending on how I move my face you're gonna detect them more so after you seen how this powder really really looks on the skin then now you know what I'm talking about this powder is supposed to be radiant but I don't really find the radiant it is very drying again and instead of having a nice radiant soft sophisticated luminosity to it it have particles of glitter you're not gonna see it right now you're not even gonna see it if I zoom you in but if you're here in person depending on how I move my face and if I'm outside and the Sun is hitting my face you're going to see those particles of glitter it's shimmer they're very spread out so they're gonna be all around your face and it is noticeable it just feel very heavy on the skin sorry not sorry don't spend your money on it and I hope the next one it's better than this one now we're gonna start talking about all the other powders that they're also new I already tried I already have dedicated videos on it don't forget starting with the new cosas powder and I find this powder to be the most satisfying out of all the other new powders right away when you apply this powder you're gonna see how quick it modifies your skin so if you like the matte 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 look or if you have oily skin you're gonna love this powder it does blur out your face and it does help with the pores I mean I have other powders that they blur my pores out a little bit more than this one but I really really like how this powder looks on the skin it is very sheer very soft very sophisticated and it's really lightweight it feels like you don't have nothing on the skin but at the same time you know you do it doesn't matter how much of this powder you put on your skin it's not gonna get cakey you touch it and you feel the creaminess on the tip of your fingers and that's the same way it feels on your skin it does control oil but it's not going to control oil the whole day so if you have oily skin have that in mind let me swatch it right here for you so you see look at that look how creamy it is you see that swatch and it blends on the skin seamless guys look you can even see. settle in dry patches or texture so if you have a lot going on in your face this powder trust me it's going to help the look of your face and I really like it guys I really recommend it and we don't have nothing like this in clean beauty so passing on into this baby from Dior this is the cushion loose powder and I cannot explain you enough how much I love and enjoy this packaging it's perfect to just 
be with it in your purse the whole day. This is a perfect powder for touch-ups. You can pack it on your face and pack it on your face all day if you really want to, back to back, and it's going to look flawless. You are really big when it comes to packaging. Out of all the new powders that they'll be coming out on the market, this is definitely the best so packaging. this is a very, very soft powder so soft that i like to use it to set my skincare more than my makeup that's how delicate it is two powders right here they are the only ones that i use as far as right now to set my skincare i keep going back and forth between these two doesn't disrupt my foundation color it doesn't change it up none of that and this powder to be more blurting on bare face than with makeup i like to grab my brush and get in there very good and pat it right on top of my pores and it does miracles it's perfect for dry skin mature skin because it's just gonna make your complexion look flawless through the whole day one thing is that this powder it is not brightening so if you're like me that you like to brighten up your skin my own their eyes they have to be extra brightening this powder it's not gonna do the job because it's not a brightening powder it's not gonna brighten up your skin at all so now we have love yourself lys this is a new clean beauty brand at sephora and this powder is on the shade translucent they also have a couple of shades so it and this is legit for the people that they don't like powder if you don't like loose powder setting powder no powder but you still need something to set your makeup this is for you so have great ingredients on it so it's very good for dry skin you don't feel this powder on the skin you really don't feel it it is so lightweight that for some people it might be too lightweight like if you are into powders and you already used to using powder you're gonna find this like barely nothing this powder it is very creamy i don't think you understand how creamy it is to the touch and everything it's actually more cream than powder for real comparing it to the cosas the cosa it is a more matte this one is more lightweight and this one it's more creamy even though the cosas it's creamy this one wins when it comes to the creaminess and the thing is that this one does brighten up so if you are into more brighten up your complexion then this is it but if you like more of a mattifying look then this one from cosas it is swatch beautiful guys look at that mm. It is so Another powder pretty. that it doesn't matter how much you put on, it's not gonna cake so up. this powder, it is more going to like mattify, but it's still gonna give you a radiant nice look. And at the end of the day, it is gonna smooth out your complexion, but it's not really gonna like blur your pores and do all that. Now going into this babies that I am so excited about. I did review it the other day, but that was the first impression. Now I can tell you that I wore it all day yesterday and it looks flawless. Like, mwah, I love it. But the powder, I mean, there is just so many powders that you really don't need another powder. So I don't suggest it to go crazy to buy this powder specifically. But this powder on a darker shade for your complexion as a bronzer, it is going to be the perfect bronzer. Like, please go buy it. That's how good it is. I have it on me right now, in case you were wondering. It is a neutral shade, so it's not going to have the orangey reddish undertone that at least me, I hate. And this is just so sophisticated like this is bougie like i love the packaging as soon as i took it out of the box and i felt it it doesn't have a mirror but it's okay whatever i'm used to it when it comes to dior products if you have any texture in this area of your face it is going to be heaven for your face if you're looking for the perfect radiance and luminosity on a powder then this is what you need on your life so now I have the Moonlight Powder from Jacqueline Hills. I've been wanting this powder since then and I finally got my hands on it. This is on the shade Do Me. This right here, it is the only powder so far that I have in my collection that it's not really a powder. It's more as a highlighter, but you can apply it on your whole entire face. You can literally grab a big old brush, 
dip it in there and put it all around your face and it's going to look beautiful. It's not gonna be a powder that is gonna smooth out your skin or blur your pores, blur your imperfections, none of that. It's a very, very glowy powder. So the itch is on. If you like the whole glowy glowiness, then you're gonna love this. If you don't like nothing glowy, you anti-glowy, then don't even go near this powder. I like to just get in there and literally, last but not least, I have a powder. I have this one from Cogent Doll, but I haven't done a dedicated video on it, and I am gonna do a dedicated video on it. This is the new Brighten It powder, and guys, I haven't even tried it, so I'm not gonna talk about it, but this packaging, it is killing the game. Well, give me two, three, four days, and then I will be doing a dedicated video for you guys. All right, guys, so we are done with this beauty. I have more good babies than bad babies, which it's a shame that I didn't like the touch of powder, but it happens. And if you did bought it and you haven't experimented dryness or you haven't seen the particles of glitter all around your face, let me know in the comment section down below. You guys know that your opinion and your feedback it is extremely important to me thank you again for another great video i love you all so damn much don't forget to go down below leave me a little comment i love chit chatting with you guys back and forth if you liked and enjoyed this video give me thumbs up and don't leave here without going down below smashing that red button so you can become part of the steffi glam r us fam Mwah! see you on the next one